Jania watch me and my friend Alma play. So, as you can see, we're not the best um, tennis players, but um, I'm gonna see what time it is because I said I wanna play till 4.30 because we've been playing for almost an hour, 4.24. Okay, six more minutes. So, as you can see, I am the powerful player, guys. It's 428. All right, my camera is about to die, so I don't know when I'll see y'all later, but. just gonna I'm probably just gonna walk uh, back to 59th Street
like the place that I went to was like near this CV, no, C, I was about to say CVS, the CVS like broadcast center. I didn't think it would be that short because I scheduled for something else at 4.15. So I have some time to review because what I have to do in this other practical in person interview is basically like try to see if I can set up certain lighting and camera equipment because I applied for a film job because I am a film major at my college. get copyrighted for this um, because of the music. So this is how this one fits. So this one is too big. It was a, I got a large. This doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna try to see if I could try a small. This one's not even bad. This one is like a large, but it fits like over here really well. I think I'm gonna get it because it fits really well. It's not tight, it's loose. This one is a large. This one's a large. So I tried on uh, this color and the one I, I'm wearing right now is medium. So it's looking like a large is just good for all of these. <sighs> so much better. Y'all, this is Broadway. Broadway runs at least like 15 blocks long or something. So this is the Simon Theater. And then over there is MJ the musical. gonna be on Broadway because of like COVID and everything. I'm heading to Times Square. I just finished buying myself stuff from H&M. Took me a whole hour but I'm trying to stall because I have my interview at 4 15 but I'm gonna try to leave here at least by 3 15 so that way I'm able to travel to like really lower lower Manhattan. I wanted to go to Chick-fil-A but it was mad crowded in that one. So I'm gonna walk to Times Square and see what I could eat there. And then, I don't know. So I'm near Wall Street and I'm supposed to be by like Battery Place but like back there is like Tribeca and like the World Trade Center and the museum. I'm back guys. So I had the interview. It wasn't like an interview where they're like, oh, so why do you want this job? It was like a second step. And they're gonna let me know if I get the job or not tomorrow. But yeah, right now I'm in the financial district of Manhattan and literally like Brooklyn. Brooklyn is so close. And y'all, I almost got lost because like I almost started walking in a tunnel to like New Jersey. But this is like the end end of Manhattan to the point where it's like so close to Brooklyn. And the water's over there. I was on the 8th floor and 
I I saw um, the Statue of Liberty. This is so pretty. Look at this, guys. That's the World Trade Center. Look at the Statue of Liberty. I've never been here before. And it's so pretty. I love going by the water. So this is Pier A. Um, and these are statues. I don't know who they are, but there's some people who probably made a difference in this world. So, um, over there is the Statue of Liberty, all the way over there. So that's usually like where Staten Island, the forgotten New York City borough is. If you're from New York City, you don't claim Staten Island because they're like so far away. I don't know, I think Brooklyn's to my... Brooklyn is probably over there. And I see, I think the George Washington Bridge and Queens is probably more over there. I don't know where the Bronx is, but um, the Bronx is more north. This is more going south to like the beginning of New York. So, I'm gonna be heading, I don't know if y'all can see me. Okay, so, I'm gonna be heading home, guys. Because it's like, it's almost five, and I'm a bit tired. I've been here since like 11. I've been in Manhattan since 11, which is a long time. Because where I live, Manhattan's an hour and 30 minutes or two hours away. The sun's in my eyes. I was supposed to pay a dollar for this mask, but I got it for free. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna head home. And I'm a, I bought some clothes from the mall yesterday. Um, and today I went to go shopping. So I'll show y'all. I'll show you guys a clothing haul when I get back home. It's Thursday guys. It's the next day. I just finished my interview. Okay, this is the fit. Black khaki and these shoes. I'm gonna go change and then I'm gonna go look at the scenery. So so yesterday I was like I will see you guys at home and show you what I got honestly I went back home and I was tired I was so tired I took a four hour nap even though I intended for like a one or a two hour nap and then I was like why would I go and just get up and film like my makeup I slept with I I took a nap with my makeup on and that wasn't even it so in all honesty I just was like you know what let me just edit this other YouTube video that I plan on premiering another time. I got a lot of like new clothing and some stuff in the mail. Um, I do have to return this one thing, but I want to just show you guys what I bought. I got something from Amazon. By the way, today is Thursday. I did have my interview and it went really well. Um, I was like, you know what, let me just stay in Manhattan and film the nice scenery because it was also by the water, the other interview I had to go to for today. But it was so windy, my eyelashes were almost coming off. So I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to go to McDonald's and eat some food and then just go travel back home. I bought these black shirts from the company Hanes. 
Hopefully they fit. I got them size medium. I really love black t-shirts. Okay, so... And it's good quality too. It's just like black plain t-shirts like this. Usually I get my graphic t-shirts from this store called Against All Odds. Um, if you guys want to see my graphic t-shirt collection from 2021, you can go to that YouTube video and check it out. But this is the this is the bag. It looks like that. So I bought two pairs of shorts. It was a really good deal. So I bought these Nickelodeon shorts. Um, they're Rugrats. So they're gray. You can't really go wrong with gray. Um, gray is cool. I don't have a lot of gray um, pants or shorts. So over here these are. Actually, yeah, no, these are just not Rugrats. It's Rugrats, Hey Arnold, Ren and Stimpy. Then we have the Nickelodeon the old Nickelodeon logo back when life was easy and Corona wasn't a thing. And then we have the actual like um, Rugrats um, pants. Most of all of my, um, these are shorts, but all of my shorts pretty much are like plain. Um, so I went to Forever 21. So the black shirts I got today in the mail, but I ordered them on Tuesday or Monday and then the shirts I'm mean, at the shorts that I showed you I bought in the mall when I hung out with my dad on Tuesday and um, I didn't really film a lot because I wanted to just spend time with my dad so I just got a plain black shirt it's like a crop top but it'll probably stop by my waist if this focuses come on this is what it looks like this striped shirt super cute long sleeve I bought this little cute sweater from Forever 21. It looks like this. I'm gonna show you guys what I bought from H&M yes, from yesterday. This shirt, I hope it fits. It's a size large, but it don't, it don't look like it's me. It's probably one of those ribbed t-shirts. Then I bought some pants. You know me, you know I love my black pants and you know I love my cargo pants. So I bought these cargos, they look like this. And then they have, they have like this thing right here. So these are, this is what it looks like. These are another pair. These are joggers, but I thought these were cargo pants. So these are what they look like. I love me some pants with pockets. And I love this thing. And these are pockets here. They have pockets here. And then I like like this elastic thing. So. This is definitely what it looks like. Okay, so you guys saw me try some of these on yesterday, but I got this cute shirt. Um, it actually stops by my waist, I believe, and it's a size medium. And I got the same one in white. I got this one, which is a bit longer, and this is also a large, and it looks like this because I know it's gonna be really hot this summer and then I also got this one from the company divided and this is like a green and I really love green um, so this is just a plain shirt right here like this those are all of the clothes that I bought on Tuesday and Wednesday so and then there's some that I bought that I got on Thursday which is today so now I'm just gonna probably like clean up my room again, go eat, edit, do other things, and then I might see y'all tomorrow. Peace. Okay, it's not that bad, but hey guys, it is Friday, and um, I didn't really do much. To I didn't really do much today. All I pretty much did was I um, washed my hair of course it's still like a deep condition I'm gonna I'm go film a YouTube video so um that's why I kind of wanted my hair a little bit like this went for my walk for about like 50 minutes to an hour today to get like my exercise guys uh so as of right now I'm just walking um I usually just walk on this parkway and I usually took a four 
mile walk every single day. Um, but yeah, this is how my Saturday is going. I only pretty much just cleaned today, so I did some chores. And that's pretty much it. And ordered food. And now I'm just walking. Let's, let's talk about let's talk about the sunlight over here. Let's really talk about it, y'all. Um, oh, they're throwing a birthday party. Anyways, yeah, so I'm on this parkway trail. There's usually people that walk on it and ride bikes and stuff, so there's a bunch of people out here. But this is normally what I do every day, pretty much, when it doesn't rain or when it's not cold. I don't do this in like the fall, winter, or spring, but only when I'm out of school, so pretty much summertime. When it's not summertime, then I'd be working in the job I have. It requires me to just walk all the time. So I pretty much work out every single day. So guys, I took my walk for about an hour. I ordered Boston Market earlier today for me and everyone in the house. And it was so good, y'all. It was slamming. I didn't get to finish it because they put so much. So I was able to finish my whole food once I came back. It's not really like ideal after you exercise to, you know, eat like food food i don't know how to say it like it's good that you eat a protein shake or um or drink a protein shake or like smoothie or stuff to rebuild the uh nutrients and stuff that you lost i was gonna like film a youtube video i'm probably gonna do it later y'all i'm so full so right now i'm not gonna do anything i'm probably just gonna um well i mean i am gonna do something but just i'm probably gonna sit down i'll probably watch a video a YouTube video and then I'll spend my time with God. I've been meaning to film for the past um, like couple days or few days but yeah I had the sweet potato casserole mac and cheese and baby back ribs and I think that was good but don't eat that after a workout y'all I'm so full and it's like since I've been working out a lot my appetite has decreased a lot I'll see y'all in the next couple of out in the next few hours actually this will be the end of well this will be the last day that I'm gonna film this YouTube video but I just wanted to pretty much just show you guys what I just bought in the mail so for like the past three years my beats have not been in good condition and i don't know why it took me three years but i have the pink beach solo headphones and stuff um the cable was actually just not really working like well it was messed up so i have the microphone cable i have the new one here the other one's all dirty and disgusting and then my beats don't have the earmuff things so i just bought these off of amazon i don't know why i didn't do this like in 2019 but yeah it shows me a user guide and everything like that it just teaches me how to like clean and everything like that because it is dirty and stuff but um yeah that's probably what i'll be doing so this is like the beats box I'm trying to see what else do I have in here. I have this. And these are my Beats Solo 3. Um, and yeah, it's like really dirty here and here. And this is just gonna go in the trash because ugh. Ugh. I also have a sticker. I didn't know what to do with it because I didn't have a laptop, my own laptop back then. Um, and then I have like the manual still, which is good because I don't normally keep manual stuff. I don't know why, but I normally don't. This is longer than a week in my life video.
Yes. Okay. Yes, these work. Yes. At first, I thought this was a guitar pick, but it's actually not. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this weekly vlog. I mean, or this week in my life video. But um, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoy this vlog. I've been busy throughout like the whole entire week. This is longer than a week, but there was one day where I didn't really do anything. So it technically is like a week in my life. But I hope you all have a happy Sunday. I hope you all went to church or watched a church service or a sermon. And yeah, it's definitely not too late to accept the Lord as your Lord and Savior. Oh, also I forgot to mention. So I love you all and God loves you too. Peace. Bye.